Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be my top complimented fragrances of 2022. And if you want to get right into the list, go ahead and go to this timestamp right here because you know I got to chat. Most of these are either 2021 or 2022 releases, but these are fragrances that not only did they get compliments, but they got an instant compliment around the person that I'm gonna talk about. So this video is gonna be a little bit more chatty, a little bit more story time, and it is when I wore it around like friends, family, and coworkers, cause I don't really go out as much as I used to, but I do wanna do my top complimented fragrances of all time. That one's coming. This is specific to 2022, and I did try to mix it up. I did try to include designer and niche, but just know that all these are more of your mass appealing kind of fragrances. I just know that a lot of people kind of shade designer fragrances or, or very basic likable scents, but those are the ones that get me compliments. So it is what it is. I have here two niche and three designer. And then I am refilming this video. I did this video already. It's funny because my scent of the day is one that I wore to Thanksgiving and it got another compliment. And then in my video that I filmed the first time, Dennis actually came home while I was filming that one and started on a job and then he was playing the music too loud and I couldn't hear it. But then when I was editing it, it just sounded horrible. It was like bass in the background and it just sounded kind of ghetto. So I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not posting it. So I'm refilming this video for the second time. So let's go ahead and get into the list. We'll start with a designer, then I'll do a niche and then we'll just go that way. So first up we have Carolina Herrera's Very Good Girl Glam. And you might have heard some of these story times already because I usually say it. I usually point it out when I get a compliment. But the person who complimented me on this was, was my hairdresser. I have several hairdressers in case you ever hear me talking about several. My cousin cuts my hair, a family friend cuts my hair, and then my neighbor down the street, Grace, she cuts hair as well. She was at our neighbor's house and I went in to say hello because in Hispanic, Spanish culture, we do kiss each other on the cheek. And that's usually when I get a compliment from a lot of friends and family. But she smelled me and she's like, what are you wearing? And then she actually followed me back to my house so that she could spray it and test it. And she wanted to buy my bottle. And I was like, no, I collect 30 mils and I haven't reviewed this one yet. And I want to say I said this story in my review, but I told her I would find it once it gets to discounters because I also told her never pay full price for fragrances. And I will say that she's a fragrance lover now she is more of your everyday consumer but she's always asking me about fragrances she's always asking me what i'm wearing but this is one that not only did she say smell nice but she followed me home so she could test it out so i know that this is one that she really fell in love with because she's also complimented me on other fragrances i've worn but this was one that she she wanted to again she wanted to buy my bottle and then this is just your kind of tart sour cherry rose fragrance there is vanilla in this one I believe there's vetiver that sour cherry this one's kind of tart make sure mouth water and then you get the rosiness in this one so i really like this one i'm um, put quite a dent in it already and again that is carolina herrera's very good girl Glam. All right, this next one was an instant compliment from Dennis. Now, you guys know Dennis doesn't have a lot of words. It's usually, what are you wearing? Or, what are you wearing? But there's one thing I have noticed about Dennis is that when I test a lot of perfumes, I think I could pick out pretty much just 20 where he's actually like, ooh, what are you wearing? And this is one of them. Usually, I have to ask Dennis or... If he knows I'm testing, he'll be like, oh, that smells okay. Or he'll be like, mm, that one smells like this. But for Dennis to actually say, what are you wearing? And go out of his way, it's because he likes the scent. So the one that got that instant when he first smelled it on me and several times, or he'll be like, oh, are you wearing that one scent? Is Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple. And this is kind of your fruity, body splash-esque apple scent but i will say that the performance on this is pretty good it's one that even after a work day dennis can still pick it out and I'll, i'm gonna go into that next so this combo earned me a compliment from a co-worker that is kiali's eden juicy apple with kiali vanilla royale now this is a scent that i finally got to try that the weather dropped now i went up again but 
I will say that in cooler weather, I'm starting to get a little bit more of that kind of creamy vanilla. And I still don't get vanilla 28, but I, I get the brown sugar that's in that one. But this is still one that I, it's just a little too much for me on its own, but I do like layering with it. So this combo right here is beautiful. This got me an instant compliment from a coworker of mine who came over to my cubicle, Marcy. The day that I filmed my review, Dennis hadn't smelled this one yet, or if he did, he didn't say anything. So I sprayed it. Again, this was the combo I had on. And then I sprayed this so he can smell it. And I was shocked because he was like, it smells fruity. And I'm like, but there's no fruit. <laughs> there's no fruit in this scent. And I think it's because he was still picking up Kaali's Eating Juicy Apple. And this was already a full day after work. I really think he was picking it up because Dennis has a super nose. And again, there's just no fruit notes in here. I don't pick up fruit notes. And when I wear this on its own, he doesn't say anything. But when I wore this combo and then I touched up so he could smell it, I think he was still able to pick up the fruits from Kaali eating juicy apples. So for 2022, I would say this is probably his favorite scent on me. Okay, next we have Prada Paradox. And this one's received multiple compliments. But the one that went out of his way, he actually wanted to know what it is so he could get it for his girlfriend for Christmas, is a friend of ours, Brian. And you're gonna hear him again. Him, there's a, a group of friends that come over pretty much I would say two or three times a month because we do grill a lot, maybe even more because sometimes we do it like two nights in a row. But whether we're grilling or one of our neighbors, they're kind of our regulars. And I just want to say that because they're going to come up ag again, the group. But I was leaving to go to my sister's house and he was doing a job here with Dennis. And when I went to go kiss Dennis goodbye and then kiss him on the cheek, hello, goodbye, because again, in Spanish culture, that's how we greet each other. His first language is Spanish and he doesn't speak English very well but he tries to speak English with me so it comes off even more enthusiastic when he talks to me but he's like oh what are you wearing you smell nice he's very charismatic when he speaks English and he asked for the name because he said he wanted to get it for his girlfriend Ari and this is kind of I would say what's on the market today like this does smell like other popular white florals kind of mixed into one it's got a little bit of my way it's got a little bit of voce viva i think someone even compared this to donna born in roma i get more voce viva in this one people have compared it to leap i don't really get that maybe the orange blossom is blended really well i wasn't going to pick up this scent because I didn't like that it had orange blossom, neroli, neroli essence. There was just a little too much of that going on. But this is bright, not sickingly sweet. It is a little sweet and it might get sweeter with time. But this is one that on multiple occasions I've gotten compliments. But his was the one that stood out because, again, he's just a little bit more charismatic. And it was an instant like, oh, you smell nice. What are you wearing? So this is gonna come up again because that's how much he enjoyed this scent. All right, this next scent, again, I'm filming this video twice. So it's the day after Thanksgiving and for Thanksgiving, again, it got up into the 80s. So I wanted kind of a fruity scent, nothing too suffocating. I didn't want anything gourmand. I wanted something a little zesty, a little zingy. So I popped on Julia Has a Gun Magnolia Bliss. And this is a fragrance. This is one that my mom has told me I smell really good when we gone on walks. Dennis has said it smells good. When I filmed this, I didn't have a story for this one, but now I do. <laughs> so this was my scent of the day for Thanksgiving. And I remember sitting there thinking, man, no one's told me I smelled good. <laughs> I know that sounds bad. But as I was leaving, I went to go hug and kiss my cousin Natalie goodbye. And she's like, what are you wearing? You smell really good, Becky. It's just one of those compliments where it's like super genuine, not like, oh, you smell nice. It's like they want to know. And I had already been at my aunt's. I would say I had this fragrance on for about four hours already, and I went nose blind. I didn't think I smelled like anything anymore. Now, again, a lot of compliments come from when I go in for that hug or that kiss hello or goodbye. So that's when she noticed it on me. So it is one that does sit closer, but the longevity on this one is really good because it's just one that I couldn't smell anymore. And again, it was about four hours and she could still smell it. So this was one that 
when I filmed it the first time, I was just kind of like, it's gotten multiple and I didn't really have a scenario, but I thought it was funny that when I wore it for Thanksgiving, she went out of her way. Now all of these have like a story. And this is kind of just that clean kind of shampoo -y scent. It's got like this zestiness that comes from the ginger. There's also like a juiciness, but it's not overly fruity, like say, Eden Juicy Apple. This has like that juicy kind of nectarine. Oh, this one's so pretty. This is part of my scent of the day. So today I wore Magnolia Bliss. These two together adds more of a fruitiness. So this one has like a zesty opening, perfect for fall. I mean, this is year round. This is one that I didn't think of as a fall scent, but it's got this zestiness and it doesn't have like, that I could see like any pink pepper or any kind of spice, but I think it's that ginger note. The ginger in here is done very well. And again, it's got like the juicy nectarine and then I get florals and ambroxan and musk. Beautiful scent. There's a lot more notes in to this one, but this is super likable. And one that again, I've gotten multiple compliments and then I got one again yesterday from my cousin. All right, and then last we have Valentino Coral Fantasy. This one's a little bit more of a tropical fruity floral. This one has kiwi and it's got musk. It's, it's musky, it's got a little citrus, but Yellow Dream's a little bit more like lemon citrus. This one's a little bit more tropical citrus. It's got jasmine in here, but this one was actually one that came up when we were grilling here one night I don't know why Brian told Ari about this fragrance, but he ended up telling her about this fragrance and I pulled it out so she could smell it and they were, were here first before Day and Val had gotten here and she fell in love with this scent. This is a fragrance that is definitely women of all ages, but I especially think younger women will like. She's, I think, 22 now. So she's a little younger. This one's a little sweeter. So we started talking about fragrance and Ari was like, have her smell. Prada. Now, Day, she likes more unisex slash men's fragrances. So when she smelled this, she actually liked it for her wife. So then we went into my room and they started sniffing all the fragrances. Now, Day and Val, they, they enjoy the finer things in life. Um, they definitely have more like designer kind of clothes and shoes. So as soon as they saw Valentino, they started spraying all my Valentinos. And I for sure thought that Val and Day were gonna like Valentino's Donna Born and Roma. Even though that one's not my favorite, it's actually Yellow Dream. The one that they really fell in love with was Donna Born and Roma Coral Fantasy. When I sprayed this one, she wanted me to send her a link to this one so she can pick it up for Valerie for Christmas. Valerie liked it this one because a lot of the ones that I had her smell, like Prada and Born in Roma, she says that they were too sweet for her. This one, she said that she liked the muskiness of this one. I don't get that kind of bourbon van vanilla that I get, even though they don't list it. First of all, Donna Born in Roma has kind of this signature base that I get in Yellow Dream, and I don't really get it in this one. So I think she found this one to be a little bit more fresh and light and she found the original born in roma to be a little too sweet for her she said it would probably give her a headache so this was one that right away she mentioned i like that one and then later on day was like let me know what perfume that is because i like it and i'm gonna pick it up for her so this was this is one that i've gotten compliments but again when they sprayed it right away it got that instant I want that kind of factor. And again, that is Valentino Donna Borno Roma Coral Fantasy. Another one that I was gonna throw in here, but it wasn't a 2022 fragrance, but I wanted to kind of do three designer and three niche was Delina La, La Rose. That isn't one that I have a specific scenario for, but it's one that Dennis picked out right away that it was in the Delina family. But that's one that when I wear it, people usually tell me I smell nice. But let me know in the comments below, what is a fragrance that instantly got you a compliment? But that will do it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.